What's up, guys? It's Railroader Cabal here in Clash of Legions to do an out of the ordinary video commentary today. So I was thinking what kind of video I should probably do today, and um, I'm kind of running out of ideas on like what I should be uh, uploading on my YouTube channel. And I was gonna do a strategy video, but then it's it's kind of hard to do strategy videos when I don't have uh, a per another person to come and uh, give me a hand with this. So I came up with the idea of doing this: the no gas. Battle deck. So I got a Null, I got Paladin, I got Swiftness or Boots, I got a Watchtower, Ranger, Orc Warrior, Hound, and Spearman. And they're pretty low level as you can see, except for my Null here. So uh, they're all level fives and slash sixes. And I'm going to jump into a couple of 1v1 games and see about uh, doing some damage with this deck. So if I think for the first game, I'll probably just do like a like a normal Hound Rush or something. And then second game, I'll probably do like a Null slash Ranger Rush. And then third game, if, the, if it gets to that point, if I don't feel too, you know, ragey, <laughs> I'll probably do like a, a little bit of a longer match to just like showcase all these units. So without further ado, let's jump into the first game. Okay, so we have a first game here versus uh, this particular person. And... You know, I can't really, I, I don't really know what map this is actually, because I just got uh, jumped into game here. So, oh, it's Sage's Valley. Okay, perfect. So this game here will be pr pretty good. You know, I'll start off by building up a barracks. You know, why not? And basically, this is the only, only building I can build right now. Um, and so we'll get this going here. I'll probably build another another barracks, and then I can get um, some hounds going. Actually, probably what I should probably do is, nope, I don't want to build that first. I want to build some hounds first, and then just rally them over here. And then get up another uh, barracks, and then I'll just go straight for hounds. So this will be a pretty quick, you know, um, uh, pretty quick match. I don't, I don't expect this game to be like super overly long, just because I wanted to see if uh, this kind of deck would work. And obviously, you know, hounds are like the uh, pretty good rush tactic kind of card. So I'll just end up using hounds, and because I have uh, boots, you know, I'll be able to attack the. Um, enemy base relatively quickly assuming he doesn't rush self so just getting a lot of hounds just get more hounds and just group them up at a certain spot just making sure he's not going for like any you know early bases which you know people should people are doing you know especially in like 3v3 2v2 games you know people are a lot of um a lot of expansions early expansions before units and you know that could make the huge difference in the long run you just have to scout it out early but you know i have a quite considerable amount of uh, hounds here and you know just going to be uh you know gathering up as many hounds as i can this is probably should be enough and i'm just waiting for my uh, boots to come into play and then i'll attack pretty fast and he's going for hounds too so i'm just going to go for some quick uh, hound attack and my level five versus level sixes and thank god for him he wasn't even close to being prepared for this he's got uh, hamsters of his own and you know that uh oh he's got um Oh, I see. Okay, so he basically just did that, and, you know, he's built up his defenses, and he's got uh, hamsters of his own, too, so just going to keep him in his base. Um, I'll probably end up expanding and just get out more uh, units, but uh, this might be a little bit of a problem for me. We will see when uh, I get uh, my second castle into play, which I can get a bit up now. So now, I still got some these hounds here, and I'll probably use the boots again, but he has an insane amount of defenses, so I'll just use that and try to get into the backside. He's, he's obviously going for more uh, hamsters, too, or hounds. But yeah, his hamsters and hounds are just doing some damage, and so I can't do that anymore. So what I'll do now is orcs and probably, if I get more resources... Get some more gnolls here, or spearmen, because spearmen actually de do decent damage against uh, um, hounds. So, there's that. Actually, if this video takes too long, <laughs> I might just end up just doing one video, just to, just this one, and see how I how my how I'm able to do up against <laughs> this kind of uh, attack. So. Not really. It was an okay start, you know. I, I was saying it wasn't flawless because it was because if it was flawless, then I probably uh, would have defeated him already. But uh, this may be a little bit of a problem now, so I'm just gonna get get up some spearmen, uh, more spearmen. I'll probably end up giving a couple hounds. I want to get another barracks going. And assuming he doesn't want to attack me uh, right away, you know, I can definitely get another barracks going and get more production out of these castles here. 
if I have to, if I really wanted to, I can just go to, straight towards his base and just build a bunch of defenses. I can probably do that if I so choose to. I think, yeah, I think probably what I'll do is build up another uh, worker and then bring my force all the way here. And I can just, um, assuming he doesn't attack, I can't build an owl, so I don't know what the hell to do. So I'll just use my hounds and just bring him all the way over here. Do I have enough for a paladin? Yes, I do. Paladin, a couple of work warriors, and this and that, and just camp outside my base. My, yeah, range warriors here. I'll just build up a defense. I'll probably build up more barracks here if I have to. And if he doesn't attack, which I probably sure he won't, you know, I can just probably rally all my forces here and that'll be working really good. Once this uh, defense is done, then I can build more barracks around here and increase my production. Just going to make sure that, uh, oh, what the hell is going on there? Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, that's uh, upsetting. That's okay. Well, I'm not going to do that. Just gonna get my rangers to come over here. Imp spam. That's the one thing I didn't want to see, but that's okay. You know, it's not. It's not really wanted to see. Imp spam. Yeah, imp spam. Level seven imps. Wait till that comes out of a fog of war, and good. Uh oh, lots of imps. And this is a bit of a problem. Retreat all the way over here. So he did a little bit of a jump tactic on me and that's not uh, good. Because now he's got imps and I need more rangers to deal with this. So hopefully everything will work out here. And he use, oh, he uses uh, that. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, yeah, he did, he did just that. So I'm pretty much defeated. You know, he did. He he played it really good. He, if I had the regular deck, you know, it would work. But yeah, that's just not good. All right, I quit. If I had my normal deck, I could probably defeat him. Well, I, I would be able to defeat him because his deck is horrible, but my deck is worse. So there's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Okay, we'll jump into the next game. And we found another match here. And we're going to be... I can't remember what this map's called. Forgotten Forest? No, this is just thing Forgotten Forest. Okay, cards limit to level 7. That uh, might be okay. Oh, this map here. Okay, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a problem. Well, I'll see what I can do. Because this is going to be a pretty long game. But, you know, with the lack of anti here that I have... In the last game that I played, I can probably safely assume that I need more uh, anti-air, but we'll see if he can. We'll see if he rushes. And as you can probably tell, I already got the music on. So th just, just so that if I stop talking for like a couple seconds, um, then you can just enjoy the nice, calm, soothing music that Clash of Legions has provided. So with this in mind, you know I'm kind of thinking about what I should probably do and. It's tough when you only have like one unit that attacks air, and that is the Rangers. So that might be, well, it, it, it is a problem, as you just saw in the last game. But I'm determined to see if I can uh, break that curse. I'll just build another uh, couple of hounds. More Rangers out the better. I'm just, I'm just wondering about what he's gonna do. And I think what I'll do is I'll just uh, send these hounds down to the base and to see what what he's going to be able to do, what he's building. And in the meantime, I'll just get more rangers out just in case he starts going for more uh, air units. And speaking of air, I'll just build in a single uh, watchtower at the base there so that'll defend against the uh, spam a bit more. More gnolls, and I'll probably, when I, I'll probably get some more orc warriors out. And yes, he's going for some hounds, so that's what I expected. Now that I know what he's building, I'll just build a couple spearmen, and I have some gnolls out already, and wait for uh, enough uh, resources to get out orc warrior, and then I should be okay. Just trying to trying to identify which 
part of my base he's going to be coming out of. I think what I'll probably do is send one hound here and one hound here. Oh, there they go. So just going to try to micro away my forces and he's just... Ex oh yeah, he did... Uh, he did uh, yeah, his his hounds are pretty powerful and with that with that being said, oh yeah, that's okay. Well, that's what I thought. So that's okay. And I was able to hold off that assault and more uh, forces out. I'm not sure if he's going to be going for some more hounds. I think he probably will, but just in case, you know, I'll uh, spread out my forces. The problem with low-level cards is that I just it's it's just so hard for me to get enough uh, resources fast enough because with those level seven hounds against my level five stuff, you know, it's going to be pretty hard. So get out another castle. And is he expanding? Because if, if he's expanding, then I can uh, stop that. At, nope, he's not expanding over there. So he's probably staying in his base, and that's good for me. Oh, is he expand? Oh, okay. So he's still in his base. Did he expand over here? No, he did not. Okay, so that's good. I'll get another orc warrior because those orc warriors are still do good. Oh, oh, he's got chrono boost. Okay, so he's getting out a lot of forces really, really fast. And I will too eventually once I get out this castle. And imps. That's exactly what I suspected. Oh, and I just saw that. Yeah, so he used uh, Chrono Boost to, you know, get out a large amount of uh, forces really quickly. And this this sucks because I can't like I can't do anything. Like I don't have enough uh, air anti aircraft to handle this. Like it's it just sucks. Even with my insanely amount of insane good amount of forces, like I just can't. And I kind I kind of feel like if I try to stop this, I can't really stop it. Okay, well, he has a uh, level seven uh, sniper, so that's not good. Okay, well, he's trying to try to stop there. He, he still has level seven. Yeah, he's level seven snipers versus level five, and that kind of is rough. But I managed to hold off that assault, and he's building more hounds, so that's not good. So he's just trying to uh, stop. Uh, okay, he's just streaming in forces. So as long as I can, you know. Uh, Keep hold it together. I can probably do. I'll be. I'll be okay. But the less forces he has on the field, the better. And I'll probably stop there because I need to get more resources out. And assuming it doesn't attack my uh, base, I'll be okay. I can't build any uh, gas because I. I can't afford it. Uh, what else should I have? I'll build up another knoll. I'm just worried about what kind of air forces he has and it's going to bring towards my base. So what I'll do is I'll just go and see what he has. Um, one will go there, one will go there, one will go there. And another orc warrior. I'll probably should build a, a paladin just in case he has more heavy force. Because I want to build a paladin so that he can be able to do... Oh, actually, that's a perfect idea, actually. Keep one there. And then I'll build another one and then I can finally build a paladin. And there's the forces there. Okay, so that's uh, not good. The only thing I can really build for a fast attack is like... Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. Well, so far, okay. Just going to gather up my forces. Okay, well, now he's there. So now I know he's there. I'm going to be... Uh, Okay, good, I got a paladin. If I can keep my rangers back, then I should be okay. I, I hate when that does that. Like it just it just my forces just stop moving when they don't when they shouldn't should be required to. Use my boots and then I can destroy these fasters a lot faster. I use a chrono boost to get more to get faster forces on the map here. I wonder why my forces don't attack. Um, what? Question mark? Did he just go off of one base? 
I think he did. Um, okay, let's uh, jump into the final game. Okay, and we're going to be finishing off this uh, game here. Or this uh, video, rather, on this map here. And might be a little bit tough here because we got a player from the Espada school. And any players who I've played with in the Espada clan or Espada school or the other Espada academy is um, pretty good players. So what I'll end up doing is I'll just see if I can do in this game relatively quickly. So just get out hounds and just rally them over there and just see where they are located out of. And build up another barracks. And then one of these... I'll go over there, and then the other one will go over there. I'm pretty sure it's going to be in one of those locations, I'm I'm assuming. With my house being level 5, this might be a little bit tricky, as you saw in the first game there, where I just had a little bit of trouble um, figuring out uh, attacking the uh, second first person. Okay, so he's not there, and he's not there. So, oh, no, he's not there. Okay, so... Oh, wait a minute. Did he get for hounds? Okay, so he's not there. He must be over there, is what I'm assuming. And he th might have hounds himself, so... I'll just rally my forces there. I'll make sure he's going over there. And he is going for hounds. Okay. So he basically just out-hound my hounds. And attack his hounds. He probably has more hounds than me, yeah. Oh, I don't want to build a paladin. I don't want to build a orc warrior. Okay, now that I know he's going to go for some hounds, I'm going to get my barracks or my go in and then stop rallying you over here. Build up another bear. Nope, not another barracks. And then rangers, and then get this. Nope, I don't want you to stay there. Uh, put my other guys in a control group, and then I can go scout and then. Get my forces gathered here at my base so that just in case if he attacks, then I should be okay. Just want to make sure he's I'm avoiding his uh, his hounds. Going off of one base sucks sometimes. And then I will okay, so he's building hounds at this base here, so I'm just gonna use my boots and then go all the way around. And he's got imps. Okay, and I'll attack his uh, goblins and do a little bit more damage. And then now that I know he's building uh, imps, I'm going to go for some rangers myself. Getting up a small contingent of forces here. Once I have enough, I will probably go and attack. But now that I know he has imps, I'm just going to build more uh, uh, watchtowers here. But the more rangers I have out, and the better. Because rangers do good against uh, imps, and it's the only <laughs> air unit that I have, which doesn't work really well for me. But even that, so I can actually go for some more hounds if I really absolutely have to. But now that my base is covered really good, you know I can deal with this more orc warriors. And then I'll probably get another Knoll out here, because that's the only level that I have that's level 7. That, that's actually decent. Everything else is l pretty low leveled. So he's still stuck in his base, and that is good. More Rangers and maybe a couple more Hounds, just to be just for the hell of it. And there is the Hounds that I was... Or there is the Imps that I was expecting. Okay, so he I know that uh, he can't attack, because I, I was going to be able to hold off that Assault with... Uh, with my Defense Structures. And will I be able to do any damage? There are the imps. And there are the uh, hounds. And then I can attack them. My level 8, level eight hounds are doing really good. Oh, there's a demon. Okay. So just take care of all the goblins. And the demon is definitely going to be a problem. Big time. Yeah, demon is going to be a huge problem. And I don't like that at all. That sucks, man. Oh, I still have horses over there. Okay, well. Crap, crap. Demons, yeah. The only the only possible way I can deal with this is 
if the demons try to jump onto my forces and I can just use my swift or boot or boots to just get the hell out of the way. But I gotta make sure that I keep my paladins close to my base and build up more resources. Because that's the only thing that's uh, causing it. And de having two demons, that's scary. That's really scary. And I gotta build some hounds. Oh, crap. Okay, well, I just lost a bunch of money there because I wasn't fast enough. Now I'm assuming he's going to be bringing in his uh, demon and stuff. Okay, well, that sucks. And I guess just build up. You know, I'll just do this. Get that building up, get there, and then more hounds and stuff. But I can guarantee I'm going to lose this game because he has demons. And, you know, if I have my original deck with uh, with uh, Gnolls, Gargoyles, and Iron Pants, then this would not be a problem. But alas, it is a, it's, a, it's a major problem. And I'm just waiting for the chance to for his demons to come in and destroy my base. And in fact, uh, Goblins finish that one... Uh, Watchtower, and then I'm just going to wait until my minerals get to 400, and then I can build up another castle. I did do significant damage to his uh, base, so if I can keep that up, then I should be okay. But with the amount of demons that he might have, I'm just going to go scout him just to make sure that he's still building um, demons. Because my, my gnolls are the only unit that, I can, that can survive this. I'm just going to be spreading out my forces. So that he, if he does do an attack, I should be okay. Just got to make sure that if his forces are here, then I can uh, keep it up. Yeah, his forces are still here, so he is doing just that. And he's going to go for an expansion, so this might be GG. Yeah, even though it's level 6, I can't really do much against those. I can't really do much against those um, demons. That's going to suck. But I'll do what I can. You know, I've... <laughs> Miracles have happened, you know, like uh, last game, remember? Last game, when the guy just gave up when he, on one base. Okay, so that's done. And I can go for more barracks. More rangers. It really sucks that the only <laughs> unit I can build is just one with not minerals. But I will do what I can and then build more base defenses here on my expansion. Get more no uh, goblins out. I'm really surprised that he's not really expanding and uh, taking advantage of uh, of this. But now with more resources, I should be okay. And there, another uh, base defense here. And then got my rangers ready just in case he does for another attack. And I don't have any spearmen, actually. So that's the, I probably should start building some spearmen. And I think I have enough here. Got my paladins. My paladins out. I'm just worried that he might use his um, imps, and that might be a real problem. Just gonna gather up forces. Just gonna make sure that he's not expanding to different locations to where I can't see, because that's gonna be a major problem. Got uh, my forces here. No, you go over there. Why does it keep happening? Just stay over there. Stay over there. Okay, Spearman, is there anything here? No, there is not. And would you look at that? I'm all out of resources already. Okay, there's nothing up there either. Okay, well, I don't know what to do. I want to wait, but at the same time, I don't want to wait because then he, he's just going to be building up to more and more forces. And he has Blizzard at his disposal, so... Well, I guess I'll just bring you over here and start building up another castle over here. You run out of resources really fast. But I can do this. And this is the only thing I have. And the more resources I have, the better. I kind of want to build a base just like right here because then he's trapped in his base. So maybe I should probably do that. But I need some more resources. 
I need more resources. I need more goblins to finish this off. I'm just hoping that it doesn't attack. And I guess this is this work, might, might, might work out relatively good. You know, it's it's not the greatest, but um, beast defense is here. And there's my imps. Okay, that's why I that's what I figured. But that's okay, you know, all the goblins are there, and then cancel that. It's gonna fly, my might, might fly over this area here. So I wanna make sure that that's that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're trying to destroy my castle. Well, it's about the only thing I can do. And I got no resources. Okay, well, there's the attack that I was expecting. And yeah, this is this is the, like, what I was like I was saying. I can't really do anything. No matter what I do. So, with that being said, you know, don't use the no uh, gas decks. They suck. Get out of here. Yeah, you won with demons. Congratulations. Big deal. If, if I had my proper deck, you'd, I'd definitely destroy you. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Me getting thrashed around like a ragdoll. My name's Cabal, and I will see you guys next time.